Hello, it's Ed Rickenbacker here, and I'm bringing you some more info in the leaked photos of the uh, new um, Elder Scrolls Online game. So, it's uh, been in development since uh, 2007, and it's going to be taking place at roughly about a thousand years before the events of Skyrim. So, it might take place in the first era of Tamriel, and so many factions will probably be fighting if we're in the gonna be fighting the first era. There's gonna be a ton of factions trying to get control of Tamriel, like the Imperials. And there uh there's gonna be specifically three factions that want to take the throne. There's gonna be the Ebonheart Pact, consisting of Nords, Dun Dunmar, and Argonians, then the Aldemary Dominion of Altmer, Bosmer, and Gajit, and the Daggerfall Covenant of Altmer, Bosmer, and Gajit. So and there's a guy named Marco who wants the throne for himself, and he's made a pact with the Daedric Prince Malig Bal, who would he also wants to rule the uh, land. So the Daedric Prince it will be playing a very very big part in the uh, story. As and there's gonna be, well, you're gonna be the player, and you're gonna be fighting to get your soul back because he's stuck in your soul apparently. That's why I'm, it's just been rumors and just some released info from Bethesda so and as um, I don't like how the, they're doing the gameplay it's gonna it's not gonna be real time it's not gonna be first person it's gonna be third person and I don't like that I hate that because Elder Scrolls was made was uh what was so cool about it, it was a it was real time it was first person it was super cool and I guess they're taking that out, and it's just going to be another World of Warcraft, or it's going to be this like the Star Wars the Old Republic. But I guess um, the different, the main difference is, is you won't, there won't be as many quest dispensers. Like you don't go talk to someone, they're like, "Oh, here's the quest, go do this for me." So there's these different quests. Like uh, if you go take down these bunch of guys, then they have a prisoner. If you re release the prisoner, he's gonna give. He'll probably give you something like, a, I don't know, money, or like a magical weapon. And uh, that's kind of disappointing. But you know, it, it could be good, but it would be it would be ten times better if it was first person in real time. But anywho, so there will be a dark brotherhood and a thieves guild, and the use of uh, soul stones and constellations and just much stuff like that but uh, there hasn't been any word about if you can be a vampire or a werewolf I hope you can but you might not be able to and y you cannot master every skill unfortunately so yeah, that kinda sucks but this is the coolest part of this game is the PvP <laughs> it's gonna be a hundred versus a hundred player battles they're util utilizing siege weapons such as trebuchets and capture keeps and farms and mines and most of the PvP action will be in Cyrodiil and the final goal is to take over the capital itself and that will give you huge bonuses to your faction and it will be just epic and you know I hope that makes it not as much of a bummer because of the third person in the um, not real time gameplay but uh, I hope that's uh, entertaining you guys and got some new information. Alright, see you next time. Ed Rickenbacker out.